I'm Jennifer Angel from New York Daily News and this is a snapshot of your horoscope for April. Uh, Scorpio, I say snapshot because there's so much happening and we like to keep these videos down under three minutes if we can. So let's get started. The astro talk for this month is all about the Grand Cardinal Cross. So it takes in um, four squares and two oppositions and although you're not in direct fire of them it's still going to affect you in some way so let's work through that so first of all in your third house there's uh, Pluto now this is a very communicative area a very creative area of your chart so you can really transform what you're doing in that area if you're doing something creative then you want to like how can I do it differently or perhaps uh, what you're doing can suddenly stop so you can build up new structures now in your sixth house also to do very much with work there's Uranus. So Uranus is like the brilliance of the zodiac. It's like original thought. So along with the lines of the Pluto energy in the third house with creativity, we've got like your day-to-day -day activity can really sort of change in a way where you can come up with the next greatest thing that's happening in your life, you know, or, or the next greatest idea and incorporate that into your life. So this is a very, very good vibration around your work. Now in your ninth house, it sits uh, Jupiter and Jupiter is the planet of abundance expansion. It's very comfortable in the ninth house because that's the house that it rules. Um, so so it, it encourages you to um, think big and be positive. So don't limit your thoughts, uh, Scorpio. Over this time, you can really just you know think outside of the box, come up with the next greatest thing, as I said, and put it into action. Okay. It's also an area where it encourages you to continue to learn um, and gather knowledge, and that's the way that you can get personal growth as well as professional growth. Now, in your twelfth house is Mars, so um, this can really be quite an intense placement and. Uh, this can give you an indication of uh, when you're wanting to change your life you really got to change the structure of your life and it's how you think your values and dreams and wishes so are they working for you if they're not it's time to make changes and as I say if you want your life to be different then you have to do something different. Okay. All right. So on top of this, we have um, two eclipses this month, right at the, at the middle of the month, in your 12th house there, there's a, a lunar eclipse. So that's going to, as I say, can throw everything up, um, up in the air and give you an opportunity to get rid of the old and start the new. Right at the end of the month in your area of relationships, relationships there's a new start with the solar eclipse so if you're in a relationship then it's time to think about once again how can you make it better if you're looking for love then certainly the vibration of love is around you with the solar eclipse in that area of your chart make yourself available get out and network and uh, make sure your first impression is um, the best that you have. Have a great month Scorpio. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching from New York Daily News.